this symposium is set up for our customers and it is so that we can connect the different players and the different stakeholders in the rail industry, bring them together. We are part of that industry and it is to exchange views, to exchange um, common thoughts about where the industry is heading. I, th I think we're dealing with an industry that is experiencing a massive change from conventional diesel-powered solutions over to more electrification throughout the industry. And last but not least, something that is in everybody's mouth is digitalization. I think we are an industry that is absolutely subject and is next in line when it comes to digital trends. Beside the keynotes and our panel discussions, our customers have the chance to go deeper into four main topics. Intelligent, digital, innovative service concepts and automation. Our customers have also the chance to configure their own power pack and have a deeper look inside via our virtual reality glasses. So what we are doing at the moment is um, focusing a lot and investing a lot in digital capabilities and solutions. What does it mean exactly? We are working in um, digital analytics, using data from the engines and the equipment running, evaluating the data and taking conclusions so that in the future the customers will benefit again in uptime and reduce cost structures. We are, um, implementing at the moment a customer care center. In general, we have the target with the customer care center to, in case of a major incident, the risk of a downtime or even a security issue, we really want to answer within two hours maximum and find a solution for the customer within 24 hours. We are really working closely with our customers and we want to understand their daily life, their daily business. So what we do is really go out there into the rail depots, into the service operations and understand how they work and then we can really see how we can help them to ease their daily life with our digital solutions. For example, with GoManage, we offer to our customers a platform where they really can see the entire fleet at one glance. They can see any open alarms, any issues that the engines have, and they can also plan for maintenance. So um, it is really to have an overall summary of the fleet, to optimize it, to work on it, to see any engine details, and this is really a benefit for them. I believe the hybrid drive with the Dutch budgets is like CO2 reduction or driving without noise will be a good solution and the most popular. But there are open areas where you accept no local emissions. A fuel cell or battery drive may be a good alternative. The first one is diversification. We will have various drive systems and the next one are the emissions. The emissions are getting more and more stringent and the technical efforts to comply with them is getting up. This affects costs as well as maintenance efforts. We have very strict requirements to satisfy the expectations of our customers. This means we needed a high performance engine for this project, especially high reliability high energy density, environmental friendly, without black smoke and reduced noise. After being set into commercial service, Sixima has been very successful. Well, uh, when we started to work with MTU, the internal discussion was make or buy, because before that we were, we were building our own power pass. Uh, we started with MTU and the experience is good. Uh, we see it is a complex product and MTU is much more specialized on that, that uh, than what we were before. We do see a market improving for the switcher and shunter markets and the road uh, switcher shunter markets, particularly for 
tier three and tier four um, uh, locomotives. Uh, we also see a trend where the larger class one railroads will probably be repowering more of their older units. We uh, started uh, with our first locomotive uh, that was a demonstrator and the platform for Tier 4 in November of 2011. And since then, every locomotive that we built as a repower uh, or as a new locomotive has either used the MTU Series 4000 engines or Series 2000 engines, every one of them. And the reliability uh, is a key factor uh, for our customers. The MTU engine as a tier three engine without after treatment is so much cleaner, quite frankly, multiple times cleaner than competitive engines. To my mind, the MTU Rail Symposium is a fantastic and fascinating forum on cutting edge rail technology. Um, we do have an exchange of views here on, on, in, in, with a background of uh, outstanding expertise. And um, for me, two points are most important and most, most uh, striking. Firstly, we do deliver innovations in terms of digitization, sustainability, which make mobility better, more sustainable, more climate friendly, more eco friendly, and that is to say, more friendly to the human beings uh, at the end. And secondly, we need to come together, we need to cooperate even stronger, we need to accelerate to make that happen, to really make that happen and to, to uh, be successful in the market penetration. This is my first time, I can promise you it won't be my last time, I will be back, but I really did enjoy I walked in last night and uh, everybody was very welcoming, people were um, happy, were engaging, and I think this is really kind of the gist of it. This is bringing different stakeholders together, um, providing a platform for exchange across suppliers in the industry, um, OEs, but also some of the, the final customers, so those that operate really trains, and uh, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, very good, very good, very well organized, very well organized, and uh, it is a very good opportunity to meet a lot of people involved in, in our business. It's such a wonderful place here with such a sunny day we have today, perfect. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much.